I've been unemployed for a year and two months now. I've been unemployed for uh, now seven months. For a year and two months. Two, two and a half years. I've been unemployed as of February 11th of 2010, so it will be close to two years. Here I am, a college graduate. I have an associate's in uh, liberal arts. Um, I have a bachelor's degree, bachelor of science in education. I have a PhD in molecular biology from UCLA. I became unemployed because of budget cuts. <laughs> I was downsized. I really didn't believe that I would be unemployed for um, an extended length of time. Trying to get back into the workplace was very difficult because it was very soon after that that the economy really took a nosedive. And so a combination of the perfect storm, so to speak. There are not a lot of jobs out there right now. When you're over 50, okay, when you're over 50 um, and you're going out here and you're trying to work, uh, get work, um, it's very, very hard. The experiencing is like being in between a rock and a hard place. You need the experience to get the job, but to get the experience you need the job. The longer you're unemployed, the less employable you look. I would love the opportunity to, to meet with someone face to face. Somehow I believe that if someone can look into my face, look into my eyes, and see how much I want to work, and know how much I'll put into it, and, and, and how much of myself I'll give to it, I would like to use that <laughs> to my benefit to, to, to get a job. I have to say, you get up, you stay positive. You have to have hope. Even though you constantly face rejection. What drives me to get up every morning and continue what I have been through. I am a veteran. I am a fighter. And um, this situation has just shown me that uh, I'm able to prevail. Um, it's really hard to deal with the feelings of being unemployed for the fact that uh, I have the experience and I have the education, yet they won't hire me. They won't give me the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So I can honestly tell you it feels very challenging. My darkest times have been after I finished my degree and uh, realized that even with a degree and experience as a veteran, I'm still struggling to find employment. I'm, I'd like to think that I'm, you know, this amazing, strong person that's been in the military, been to war, but there is um, when you've done those kind of things, it, there is this sense of purpose that you just have to have for, for the rest of your life. And if you don't have that sense of purpose, if you can't find a place to use the skills that you've developed in life, it, you feel worthless. And that is just the worst feeling that, you know, I could imagine. During this time, my mother passed away. was diagnosed with Parkinson's.
but yet I'm here because there's no, no roads going backwards. I only have forwards. And you have to have the fortitude and the strength and will to say that this challenge of the day you will overcome. We need your help to get there. Sometimes you can't always do it on your own. If unemployment benefits are cut from 99 weeks to 59 weeks, how will that affect you? I will look for any minimum wage job that I can get or we will lose our house. You just wake up the next day figuring out how you're going to pay your bills, how you're going to pay your rent, how you're going to survive. Um, the ben benefits actually help. If, without the benefits, I'd probably be living maybe under a bridge or somewhere without the benefits. So. Well, if I didn't have uh, my unemployment coming in, you know, I would really, really be um, out on the streets, uh, so to speak. Um, because it helps. It helps. Like I said, for me to pay my rent. It helps for me to uh, keep uh, uh, my, my phone on so that I can do my work search and do, you know, get out here and get calls back and get jobs. So it, 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 it is it's definitely um, um, needed. It's definitely needed in my, in my situation. In a way, I feel like from what government is saying right now, I feel like I'm mooching of our country. I was taught not to be a to, to be a leech. You know, I was taught not to be on benefits. I was taught to work hard and 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 to be a productive person in society. So to take money from the government and then being told that you don't deserve it, that you know people on unemployment are beer drinkers or drug addicts or un, uh, unemployable people or uneducated people. I have a BA. I'm not uneducated, though I may sound like it right now. But I don't want to take from the government. But I need assistance. I was consent that we bring up the bill to extend the tax cut for 160 million Americans. As you walk off the floor, Mr. Speaker, you're walking out, you're walking away, just as so many Republicans have walked away from middle-class taxpayers, the unemployed, and very frankly, as well, from those uh, who will be seeking medical assistance from their doctors, 48 million senior citizens. We regret, Mr. Speaker, that you have walked off the platform without addressing the issue of critical importance to this country, and that is the uh, continuation of the middle class tax cut, the continuation of unemployment benefits for those at risk of losing them. So that just gives you an idea of the tone uh, on Washington, D.C. right now. Again, you're... At the end of 2011, House Republicans refused a temporary extension of vital benefits for families looking for work. Instead, they argued for a one-year extension of unemployment benefits in an attempt to distract the American people from becoming aware of their real motives, to reduce the amount of time a person is able to be on unemployment. Right now, it's 99 weeks. They want to cut it down to 59 weeks. They also want to give state government the ability to force people applying for unemployment to take a drug test and attend GED classes. I want everyone to have a high school diploma or a GED, but they're attempting to paint a distorted picture of people who are still struggling from the economic crisis. At the final hour, House Republicans were forced to accept bipartisan legislation that extended unemployment for two more months, a temporary solution until Congress meets in January. There is one thing I want to make clear. 
Unemployed workers are not uneducated drug users, but rather hardworking people who rely on unemployment benefits to keep their families afloat during these uncertain economic times. Each dollar spent on unemployment benefits generates up to $1.90 in economic growth. In 2010 alone, unemployment benefits kept 3.2 million people from falling over a cliff. My Republican colleagues need to stop promoting a distorted picture of people who continue to face challenging times. A true picture of who continues to suffer looks like this. 84% of the unemployed have a high school degree or higher. The unemployment rate between men and women with a college degree is nearly the same at 4.8 and 4.7%. The unemployment rate is highest in the black and Latino population. The economy is slowly getting better, but not fast enough. Republicans should start examining what happens when there are more unemployed people than available jobs, as is currently the case. There's nearly seven jobless people for every job opening. Congress reconvened shortly to discuss a year-long solution to extend unemployment benefits, but it's imperative that we once again let Republicans know that we will not sit quietly while they try to play politics with American people's livelihood. That's where you come in. I want to highlight the stories, the struggles, the ambition of the many people unemployed to show the real faces. But to do this, I need your help. Click this link to upload your video response and show the Republicans the real faces of the unemployed. We must stand together and protect unemployment benefits. I hate to say it, but I believe if Republicans get their way in February, unemployment benefits as we know them will cease to exist for millions of Americans who are diligently searching for work but unable to find jobs due to no fault of their own. Share your experiences, your struggles, and your testimony so we can show the real faces of people struggling to find work. Reply to this video with your own video, or if you can't send a video, please share your story through my website at karenbass.house.gov. Thank you very much.